Hello everyone, and welcome back to episode 2 of our Milan save. So, <laughs> you can see on the first screen here, there's a little issue with the budget. Um, that's because I was looking at players to sign. Uh, let's just start with the transfer. So you get players to sign, and I asked the board for some help, and they agreed, and uh, they kind of did me dirty. Um, but yeah, so let's start with the arrivals. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot. So here are arrivals. So, start off with Franco Vasquez. I've brought him in on loan, just a dry loan. I wanted to get him um, with a possible future fee. Not that I would buy him, but just because it's kind of the thing Milan have been doing recently, and I thought it wouldn't be the worst. Um, just to bring some experience into the front line, and um, just pretty much bringing new, some experience into the team. He's also a good player for most sides, and he's versatile as he can play in midfield. Uh, he can kind of play any of these three positions and over here. So he can kind of play anywhere for us that we need. But uh, he'll mostly be a striker for us, be playing advanced forward, but uh, he'll be able to help out in uh, midfield if need be, if Diaz or Hakan is injured. Um, so he's kind of a versatile player that's going to play in either of these two positions. And again, really neat. I don't want him to play out in the wing because he's not fast enough for what I want, but <clears throat> if, if we're forced to do that, um, it is a possibility to put him out there. So there's that. Um, our next player is Andrea Papetti. In real life, he is a Milan target. He is one I signed him because I want to sign Italian youth for this save. Um, wonder kid in, in football manager, you all probably know who he is. Um, so yeah, uh, loaned him out to Hellas Verona, so hopefully he'll get some time and play. Uh, then we got Nicola Rovella. Same as I think, exceptionally good wonder kid for football manager. Another star Italian player that Milan had interest in, but we gave up on that um, a while ago. But yeah, just I really like him as a player. I've watched him a few teams. I thought he had a decent game against us in the uh, Coppa Italia as well. No, sorry, not against us, against Juventus in the Coppa Italia as well um, when I watched that game. But yeah, I mean, just star player, beat out Juventus in some other teams' form, which is good. And he's been loaned out to Spezia to get some time and hopefully maybe uh, build a good partnership with Pobega because that would be helpful for us. Um, Tutari, just another good, again, just like young Italians, uh, with high potential, uh, Italian wonder kids. I literally just set my scout, find me young wonder kids for Italy. And he returned me with four people that were promising. Um, just another one. So I got him in, um, just cause also with, um, uh, which, uh, Alfredo and Tato Rosano both being old, um, having another young goalie. It's always helpful because I don't know how much um, potentials of us of uh, what's a sub sub the how do you is it wait where is he? We let him go, did didn't we? Um, well, we have Plazari, um, and stuff. I can't remember Sil, whatever his name is, um, the other goalie backup goalie we had i can't remember his friggin name um it's eluding me is he here uh da, 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 no doesn't seem like it um our next purchase is uh tong oh he's one of my little um tongaya uh, just another player who can play kind of anywhere across this front line that we may need and uh, ability to help out and just be someone with high potential for the future. Um, go on for Juventus. Then, um, <laughs> I was like, you know what, let me see if the board will purchase Tonali for me because I want to sign him. Uh, we were going to sign him anyway within the season and I decided it and I just clicked on like, can we sign Tonali? And they went, sure, and they purchased him. So that was great. So now he's officially our player. Um, the only real signing, uh, f well, two, one of two real signings that will affect the first team is uh, Thury Correa. Um, he's going to be backup for either position on the left and right. So kind of the same thing as Dallow. I don't know where they'll play, but um, 
he's going to be mainly set up as the right, while Dallow is mainly going to be set up on the left. But yeah, so just potent, high potential player and uh, the ability to help out in the wing. And he's Portuguese, so adding to some Portuguese players and stuff like that to help out with the Portuguese connection. And then we got Adam Holtzek, who I adore. I really like him in real life. I thought he played pretty well against Milan anyway in, in the actual games, but I asked the board to sign him as well, and they said yes. And so he's going to be an advanced forward for us. Um, he didn't get um, registered for the Europa League in time for our game because um, I was trying to register Correa because um, Conti is no-go. Um, for me, and uh, I can only add one new player, and so Holtzek was not um, confirmed yet. Like it, he didn't show up in the squad, so I just did that, and then he showed up like the next second and was like, "Yo, why didn't you register me?" And yeah, so I said I registered him for the next game. But um, without further ado, I think we shall get into the game against. Olympiage, and um, it's just going to be a short episode today because we're just going to go through that, um, and then I will talk a little bit more of what the remaining of the window is going to look like. Um, remaining window is going to look like, uh, yeah, I uh, will do this game separately. But yeah, I'll talk about a little bit of what the window is going to look like after this, and that's going to kind of be it. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a bit of a changed team we're going to not play a lot of our starters so i'm just going to clear this entire team selection um chipria tatarasanu is going to be in goal but i just want to put dunroom on the bench so we're going to put tatarasanu in goal we're going to give who is oh correa has not been done because he's injured then who, who, I forget who I did it with. Um, Dallow's going to play there, and uh, looks like we're going to be playing Calabria. Um, damn, we really are not, uh, we're really spoiled for choice with defenders in center back. Yeah, so both those two are injured, so we'll have uh, Gabby and Kalulu in the middle. Um, a deep line playmaker, I want Tonali to play. Um, advanced playmaker... I'm going to give it to Hakan. Um, Franco Vasquez is going to play up top. Who is... Just bring him. Um, I'm going to have Hauga on the left, because he's like the only fit player that can play on the left. And on the right, we're going to have Salamakers. Um, do we want to play... Bra yeah, I want to play Brahim instead. Um... Let's give Krunich some time. Um, yeah, that's that's the one other spot that we're looking um, to improve upon is central midfield because, again, I only have Tonali, Krunich, Kessie, and Ben Osser, and that's the only other position that we might bring someone in on, but those are 100% dependent on their ability to um, let go of Musacchio and... Um, Conti. So, unless those two leave, I'm not going to be bringing in a new central midfielder. Let's just get these guys on the bench. You, 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 you. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, injured, but can still, just in case. Wow, what a real riveting bench. <laughs> This is going to be great. All right, so let's submit the team. Um, oh, yeah, I should have talked about that. But in preseason, we won every single game. We didn't lose a single game in preseason. Um, so, yeah, there's that. Pump some fists. Let's uh, see how they do. All right. Facing Olympia at home. They start with the kickoff. We're start, oh wait, let's see. What is my highlight set to? Extended. We want just key. Now this will be a long episode, so we'll, we'll do extended for the first game of this. 
because I just wanted to do this game. Um, let's make sure these are correct. Let's pause this quickly. Um, we want the Milan Shaw map, Visualizer, Milan Formation, their formation, match stats. And this should be the league. Um, this would be the league, but we'll just have their shot map for right now. All right. No, they have the first... All right, they have the first shot. Here our first highlight. Tatarisanu plays out to Kalulu. Brings it forward out of the box. Plays up to Brahim. Kind of just... Holds on the ball and gives it away. And they have a chance. And it's a good save by Tata Rasanu, But that's concerning. Alright guys. Let's, uh, let's come on now. Tata Rasanu hits it long. It's knocked down by Vasquez. Picked up by Salamakers. Into Brahim. Takes it forward. He's, he's Hauga out wide. He uses him. Hauga doesn't... Kind of waits up, but doesn't. For the overlap. Yeah, he does wait up for overlap. Gives it to Dallo. Who hits a cross in. Krunich gets his head on it, but it's far wide. Calabria with a throw in on the far side. Throws it in, but it's given away. But Salamaker quickly regains it. Brahim's got it on the edge of the box. Plays it back to Krunich. Takes it in a little bit. Plays to Salamakers. Drives into the box. Drives to the byline. Puts it across goal. And it's cleared. But it's picked up by Kalulu, who brings it forward. He's kind of run into a bit of trouble here, but he's fixed himself up. He's played it to Tonali, the top of the box. He goes back out to Krunic. He plays a long ball across, which is badly done and is picked up by the opposition, but they've hit a horrible long ball forward, which Kalulu can take his time and play back to Tata Rasanu. Or not. All right, he's going to turn. Take your space, Kalulu. Come on, man. Go, go. <laughs> All right, well, a little slow, but into Tonali eventually, who brings it forwards. He's going up the field, going towards the corner, kind of covered. Salamakers recovers the ball, goes for a shot, but it's blocked. Falls back out to Delo, who takes it forward, charges towards the edge of the box, brings it into the box, and stops just towards the corner. Has no help, gets it to Hauga somehow. Hauga's fouled? Yes, Hauga's fouled in the box. Who's going to step up to take the penalty? I've signed all this before, but I forgot. Brahim Diaz steps up, shoots. Are you kidding me? That's the weakest penalty I've ever seen. Horrendous penalty from Brahim Diaz down the middle. Um, how atrocious. I thought Tonali was ahead of him in the order. Well, I guess not. So Krunic brings it forwards. Plays it to Vasquez on the top of the box. Plays it off to Hauga, who plays it to Tonali. To Dallo, who can head it back to Tonali. Back out to Brahim. Tonali, can he find anybody? I think he's, yeah, he's going to play to Krunic near him. Back to Tonali, into Krunic, into Salamakers. Who could play Dallo on a bit of a looping ball out wide. Little far. Gets it to Hauga who somehow gets a shot off and has just managed to get it saved by Vidmar, I believe that is. First quarter of the match. Really good sustained group of pressure here. Tonali plays it to the back post to Vasquez who heads over. This is a really good pressure. Very, very good sustained pressure and we need to make sure we keep this up. We should have a goal. Let's praise. Yeah, all right. We can't praise. But Tatra Sano out to Kalulu again. But yeah, 18 minutes here. This is really, really good sustained pressure so far. Um, if this game keeps going like this, I might have to turn it to key highlights so it's not like 20 minutes long. Um, yeah, Salamakers bringing it inside. Charging forwards. Gets it out to Vasquez, whose pass is blocked back to the goal. And then plopped back and then pass to the goalie. Goalie hits it long. Gabby is able to head it out to Dallo. Dallo turns back inside and plays into Krunic, who one taps it off to Brahim. Brahim brushes forward, brushing off the defender. Gets to the edge of the uh, gets towards the violin, but loses the ball again. Loses but wins it back and loses the ball. Salmakers who's free, and that What? Who's offside? Oh. Yeah, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't realize that, but that is definitely offside. Uh, Vasquez is definitely impeding the goalie. Um, but um, I'm going to demand more from this team. This is a not a very encouraging showing so far from this first half. Tonelli, right wing, free kick to the back post. Gabia off the bar. And Brahim, <laughs> Brahim nearly scores from getting a clearance hit off him. But um, this is concerning so far. Um, 
Not a great performance so far, to say the least. Uh, Kroonich has picked up a yellow card. All right, we have another highlight here. Calabria thrown on the right into Brahim, who nods it on to Vasquez, who nods it out again, but the goalie is able to collect before Hauga can tap it. Tap it in. Uh, Vidmar, the goalkeeper, hits it long, but it's intercepted by Kroonich, who brings it to Salamakers, who gets it to Hauga, gets it to Vasquez, oh, who shoots wide. He had time to take a touch. I think Vasquez should have taken a touch. All right, Calabria again. Well, some more sustained pressure here. Into Brahim. Salamakers into Kurnich. He brings it forwards. Can he get through the space in front of him? He's going to play it off to Trinali. He's going to play it back to Brahim Diaz. Beats one defender. Plays it to Dallow. Edge of the box. Brings it inside a little bit. Takes a step to Shoots. It's been blocked. Ball pops out again. Who has it? The opposing team does. Olympia has it. They have it at the edge of the box here. Play it out to the right. Bad ball. I'm just going to get out front of the Milan throw in. Disappointing half from us so far. I mean, we clearly should be ahead. We've had a penalty, which should have been converted. Um, Brahim Diaz is going to come off for Hakan. And... Um, hmm, what else? What other sub do we want to make? Hakan's on a... Uh, let's take off Vasquez and put on Ibra. <clears throat> All right, let's do this. It's kind of stupid. All right, the big guns are on the field. Hmm. Love the sniffles. Kalulu's got it. He's playing it up to Salamakers here. Drives inside and just gives it away. Come on, guys. This is not the team I saw in preseason. First real game and, like, we can't play. Granted, I mean, we had some better players and we're having a bit of injury issues, which is why I want to make this a... Short episode, which I'll talk about after this game. Alright, pressing down, which is good. Pressing the defenders, forcing a long ball, which we've managed to win through Calabria. Krunich heads it down to Hakan, who passes up to Salamakers, who takes a space down the wing. He doesn't have too much upsides Calabria behind. Gets a Trinali at the top of the box, over to Hakan, to Hauga, who's a great shot. Can't wrap his foot around it, as it just goes past the far post. Good start so far, though. Good pressure. Hmm. Alright, Dallow into Hauga. Edge of the box a little bit here. Into Tonali, who can bring it forwards. He goes to Krunich on the edge of the box. Into Calabria, who takes a touch or two inside the box and shoots, but it's saved by the goalie. It's going to be another corner to Milan. Which side is it going to be on? Up here. Alright, Hakan with the corner. <coughs> Excuse me, the outswinger. Into the middle. Headed wide. Headed, sorry, headed not wide, headed clear. Hauga tries to win it back and concedes the foul. No. Oh, Hakan's got a chance of the free kick here. Let's see it. Hakan in straight into the wall. Back to Hakan. Can he get to Hauga in the gap? No, he can't. He's going to go back to Krunich. Krunich can look wide if he wants. He's going to bring it wide. Keep going. Is he going to try to get a cross off here? It's going to get cleared out by the defender for a throw in. All right. Hakan with a free kick chance again on the edge of the box here. He's going to hit it to the back post. Gabby is going to hit the post. Oh my god. Gabby has hit the bar twice. Vidmar is going to look to play out of the back here for Olympia. <clears throat> He's getting closed down. He's going to hit it long. It's going to get intercepted by Kalulu, but it's going to go right to one of their players. Hauga, I think, just got nutmegged with that back pass. We're going to play it around the back a little bit over here. Nothing, no real press happening, which I would prefer some kind of press, but it's okay. <coughs> and uh, they're going to play a long ball forward, but Gabby is going to cover. Nella's going to take it. He's going to keep going a little bit forwards, but he's going to hold up. Going to play inside to Krunic. He's going to bring it forward. Keep going. Can he find Ibra? No, he's going to bring it wide again. He's going to keep dribbling, keep dribbling, keep dribbling. He's going to go back to Salamakers, who's a chance to shoot, and it's blocked. Olympia again playing out of the back here. All right, long ball. Calabria easily takes that. He's going to play into an alley. He's under a little bit of pressure. Hakan gets a poor first touch. It's taken away, but he still managed to keep it. Plays it out to Calabria. He's going to play it in Salamakers. He takes a shot, but it's right at Vidmar, the goalkeeper. 
Might be goalkeeper very, very busy today, but I don't think he's had too much to truly deal with. Um, again, they're going to play out of the back, and hopefully we can force him to the long ball with the press. Hauga pressing well. Another long ball. Let's win this in the air, boys. Yes, good job, Gabia. So we're forcing them into long balls, and we're winning the ball back, but we're struggling to create any kind of opportunity. And Tonali just runs into trouble. Hakan bails him out. Into Ibra. Can he finish? Yes. Finally. Finally, we've scored. Ibra with an just easy tap in. Good job from Salamakers, but Tonali, what were you doing there? Just ran right into trouble, and... Thankfully, Hakon bailed him out. I mean, we can see it right here. Runs into just two defenders. Hakon pokes his toe into the mess and gets it out to Salamakers. Who gets it there. And for once, their defender was not positioned correctly and he wasn't able to get a foot on it. All right. Listikov throws it in, but it's picked up by Salamakers. And now Hakon can run forwards. I think this might be where we finally get a few more goals. Lovely ball out to Hauga from Hakan. Can he cut it back to Tonali? With the shot, it's blocked. And Olympia could counter here finally. Maybe they'll get a chance after the first minute or two. But nah, they take too much time and it's no more highlight. Hakan again with a free kick out on the right. He's going to go to the back post. He's finally... And Matteo Gabbia <laughs> on the third time he's headed in at goal. He finally gets it. Hits the post twice in this game, and now finally is able to convert. Kept going, kept going, and he's finally got it. Uh, Hauga is tiring a bit. I don't know who, who can I put on to replace him. This is a bit of an issue. Like, we have a lot of injury problems right now. Um, Hakan brings it forward. I might have to push Hakan out wide. He's going to clip it up to Ibra. Can he finish from that angle? No, he's going to take it wide. Crossing the byline into Dallo, who's going to shuttle it around a defender. Tonali with tons of bodies in front of him. Dallo tries the shot into traffic, but it's blocked. And they're good. 70th minute now. Let's get this, um... How many subs do we have in this, um... Competition. Five. So Calabria is tiring, but um, that means, and so Dello really isn't, so we're going to get Teo on. Hulu's tiring. Uh, Krunic, we're going to put on Kessie. And uh, now the other sub is, is that Haug is tiring, and he's kind of like the only player we have um, left. I think we'll do this. Can Samu play? Yes, yeah, Samu can play there. Right, there we go. Bit of an interesting looking Milan. But, um... But yeah. This game looks like it's gonna get closed out now. Which is good. 80th minute. Uh, they haven't had a highlight, nor of us. But Teo's got it here on the wing. Gets it into Hakan. Plays it into Tonali. Running down the edge of the box. Can he get a shot off? No, nah, he's going to give it to Kessie. Oh, great shot, but it's just blocked on the line again. These, these defenders for Olympia have been playing a hell of a game defending. Um, Hakan gets it. Puts it into Tonali, who's picked up a yellow card, it seems. Lovely long ball. Ibra, can he get there? Oh, just can't get away from his defender far enough to get a little touch in. Is that... that yeah, it's Vidmar. Vidmar holding the ball a long time there. Very, very long time. Um, playing around in the back again for Olympia. It could cost them, but I don't think so. I mean, they're, they're putting together some sustained attack here for once. And nope. Salamakers is going to pick it off. He's going to run forwards. To the edge of the box where he tries to find Eva, but it's cleared. Falls to Dallow now, who's on the right. <clears throat> runs down the line and is fouled but uh, advantage is being played so Salamakers can pick it up Kessie runs to the edge nearly to the byline Dallo with a cross and can Ibra get ahead to it he can but it's saved by Vidmar again he's having an outstanding game um, it's going to get knotted down and Teo's going to pick it up play it into Samu he's going to get it into Hakan get it over the top to Ibra can he get a shot off 
He's gonna hold up the ball to Samu with a with a rifle, but um, nowhere near the goal. Um, I think I'm gonna put it to key now to end the game just because we're at the 25 minute mark. Um, so just want to make sure we can keep this under 30 minutes. Um, I was thinking to be shorter, but um, well, it'd be nice to have some extended highlights on, but it's just taking the game to its normal time, so we have that, but uh, Salamakers brings it forward here. <clears throat> Dallow cuts it back. Tonali with a shot from distance. Oh, great save again! This Vidmar guy is incredible! Man of the match for me. 100% man of the match. Ugh, oh, the bad corner taken right into nobody. Gabia gets it back, plays it out to Hakan. Oh no, Samu. Crosses it in. Hakan takes it to... What a save again! <laughs> Vidmar is on some shit today! I've never heard of this man before in my life. But I applaud you. I applaud you, Vidmar. What a performance. In a bad corner again. What a friggin' performance from Vidmar. 8.4. Very deserved. Very, very deserved. Yes, was he given an easy save for the penalty? Yeah. But still, my word, this man has been incredible today. Those final saves at the end there are something else. Teo charging down the wing to the byline. Gets it in. Samu with the shot. Oh, that time Vidmar just couldn't keep it out. Skirm through his hands. That is a unfair treatment for how well he's played today oh, really really unfair treatment for how, how incredible he's been in goal oh fine Olympia looks like they have a chance again towards the end here header oh it's in they've managed to get a goal in the 92nd minute um little too uh too little too late for sure but um yeah I mean props to them uh, we've it another this game is so taken forever. Um, Teo is going to charge to the byline. He's going to get a cross blocked. Sam is going to cut it out to Tonali. Play it into Hakan. Can he get a shot off? No, he's going to play it to Ibra. He's going to play it to Dallo, who loses it. Ibra gets it again. Hakan Salamakers with the shot, and he scores. And uh, this game is... The floodgates have opened. That, uh, that goal from Sam has just opened it up. A different goal scorers today. I always, I always like to spread the goals around. So it's nice to see a, a good mix of uh, people. And uh, yeah, good good game overall. Olympia. All right, let's see. Is there a picture of this guy? Yes. Vidmar, are you... Do you play for the national team at all? How do I forget? Um, information. Yeah. He's not played for the Slovenian national team. I mean, sadly, because it's Slovenia. Um, <laughs> that's kind of filled with good goal. They have some good goalies. But, damn! What a performance from that guy! He does <laughs> Definitely man of the match, in my opinion. 100% man of the match. Oh, it was just incredible. Yeah, <laughs> let's go man of the match for him. All right. Into the next round, Tonali makes debut. We play Saint Gallen. That match against Crotone is rearranged. Um, what is our so next thing would be Sunday and then Thursday. Um, I think we'll do these two games next. We'll do the Saint Gallen and the Hellas Verona game because why not? Um, so yeah, thanks, thank you guys for uh, tuning in um just to go over quickly what the big problem is um i forgot i should mention that we have a lot of injuries so rafael liao correa alessio romagnoli chiar rebic um all injured uh conti and musacchio of course i'm trying to sell because if i can sell them then i can bring in a central midfielder to back up our current central midfielders um yeah because we only have two and i'd like another one but, um, yeah, as of right now, that's kind of how we're looking. Um, this is pretty much the team that you're going to see. Uh, and, yeah, I, I 
think that's pretty much it for right now. Um, that's that's mostly what it's gonna be. Um, but yeah, no, those are all wanted. But um, but yeah, that's pretty much what's gonna be. These if those two leave, that's the only way that we're gonna have um a new player come in. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, we will see you in the next one where we take on Hellas Verona and Saint Gallen. Uh -huh.